Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So I wanted to say something real fast I thought was funny. So I overheard one of my egotistical, arrogant, insecure little boys for a, of a boss, one of the owners, not the cool owner, the owner that everybody goes, oh, I'll go talk to Bob. And they basically just go right over his head because I feel bad because that's why he is insecure, negative, hateful, angry all the time because, you know, he obviously has been disrespected all his life, but it's his own doing because he acts the way he does. If he would just act decent, people wouldn't just ignore him and go to the real owner, the real boss, even though he's part owner, he's just not the, he's not, you know, the brother that anybody ever really cares to ask questions. So anyways, he, I overheard him talking to somebody on the phone and he was like, yeah, I've done this forever. So yeah, I, I think I have, I think I would know. And then I heard the person, because they were on speakerphone, they're like, I've done this for 35 years. He's like, well, well I've done it for 40. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Like, when he said that, I could not even believe what I was hearing, how a 69-year-old... See, that's why it proves that what God's saying, that... The body doesn't mean nothing. You know, you could you are the living conscious being attached to the body. So you could be an, inf an infant while your body in flesh terms is an adult. So you, so, you know, that's why people run around, I'm an adult. No, you're not. You're a freaking infant. You, you don't realize it, but now don't tell people that because that's, that's immature. You don't tell them that, you know, you just say it in your head like I do. You know, God gave me a good way to do it. When people really bother you, you got to remember, number one, they're being manipulated by a superior being and their children. Number two, you know, would you beat up your five-year-old child? Would you make fun of your five-year-old child if they did, if they said something incorrect about earth, you know, about how we live on earth? No, you would, you would teach them, right? So when a 67 or 68-year-old says something so ridiculous like he did, you don't go make fun of them, you don't punch them, you don't put them down, you know, to their face. <laughs> you know, this is all right, you know, because I'm trying to teach. Um, you know, you, you, you let it go because that's a child. So God said, look at them like children. And that's what I do. I try to picture them with little babas in their mouth, you know, like bop, bop, when they're walking around because that's the only way you'll get yourself to remember that that is not an adult you're speaking to. That 68-year-old, that 70-year-old, that celebrity, that president, that doctor, that's a baby, that's an infant, that's a child who doesn't know anything, who thinks they know everything. So anyways, <clears throat> the reason I wanted to bring this up is because that is, I used to say the same stupid thing. And the funny part is I used to say it when I had like five years experience or 10 years experience. You know, I got five years experience. I got 10. I got 12. <laughs> Based on that theory, everybody that is one minute older in the universe than somebody else is going to always be right and better than a person one minute below them. Same thing in like, like a career. Okay, so if I got 26 years and you got... 25 years, 364 days, based on how he's talking, that means I'm right all the time and I have more experience and I'm better. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is wrong with people? Seriously, why are we so stupid sometimes? Anyways, don't do it. That's all I'm trying to say. Don't be me because anybody who knew me in my 20s and Matt rate, you know. I was arrogant mother foe, mother foe. I was, oh God, I was better than all of you. I was better than everybody. I was the best. Freaking none of you had nothing on me. <laughs> now it's funny because I do the whole opposite. Now I'm so humble that I'm constantly like, oh, I'm such an idiot. Ah, I messed up. And then it's funny because now 
other people that are arrogant and insecure and lost, like I can tell they they look at me like they're superior because I messed up. And in my mind, it's like they have no idea. They have no clue. They have no idea how powerful you become when you become humble. You become in control of what I call your fleshly desires. You know, you don't care about money no more. You don't care about materialism. You don't care about that little thing called hormone. It's just a little energy, guys. It's a little baby energy that God manipulated to create hormones so the flesh, not you, the flesh, would want to reproduce. Because if God did not put hormones in us, we would never reproduce. Because we would be like the way we were when we were zero to like 11. We would have no desire for it. Because the spirit doesn't care about intimacy. That is the flesh. So be stronger than a subatomic freaking particle. Be stronger than a little baby energy. That's all it is. That's all hate is. That's all materialism is. That's all greed is. That's all addiction is. That's all everything is. It is literally, you are a living conscious being. And your job is to be the superior being to everything else besides another living conscious being. You are equal to that being, but you are supposed to be superior to every other energy in the world. That's money, greed, addiction, sex, drugs, rock and roll, techno, you know, all the fun stuff. <laughs> no, believe me, you won't miss it. I, I'm, yeah, we won't get into that today. But believe me, you will not miss it. You will say, I can't believe I was like that. What was wrong with me? So, anyways, I had to talk today. I felt like talking. I was having a, a good morning. I thought that was hilarious. I thought some of you would find it amusing. And holy crap, I've been talking for seven minutes. Ooh, I should shut up. Spread love, not hate. Love you.